from the developer that brought you eating lasagna in your home alone, sneaking into kidnappers' homes to watch them spin, and emptying people's fridge of all their content, Chapter 4 of Fears to Fathom is here. We'll call this one, Dowsing Everything in Gasoline. Or its formal name, Iron Bark Lookout. <gasps> it's time to turn the lights off. Dim the room. So yeah, if you're unaware, this is one of my favorite series is currently may 12th hey i noticed you were requesting story submissions wait while i was watching a youtuber play fears to fathom carson house which youtuber do you think they were watching huh hmm what i'm about to recount happened when i was 24 or so at the time it feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing but i feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it i knew that sharing this story anywhere would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. So yeah, this is somebody's real story chat. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though, since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. <laughs> Breaking Bad reference? Yeah. Bro was cooking in the forest. Nice, we're driving. Let's go. <laughs> you know about RVs, they got all that extra padding, right? They can really take it. I swear to God, no texting and driving. You want to know what happens if you text and drive? Oh, you hit shit. Uh. Oh, I could just, like, stop. Nice. My parents had an RV. We actually ended up sharing it with Julian's family. It had, like, the the bed over top of the seats. It, it does look quite cozy. Yeah, it looks... It bro keeps it clean. I wouldn't recommend having, like, mugs and plates and a fucking open beer bottle while you're driving, but, hey, you know, what you do you. Um, and I, I would sleep up up above the, the seat in that bed. And one night, I rolled off of it. So, like, that's a decent fall, right? That's, like, a two-meter fall. Not quite, because I would have hit the extended couch. And I didn't wake up properly. Like, I, I, I don't remember it happening. My parents got me back into bed and in the morning they're like how do you feel like what 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 do you mean hey what if i just like hit this truck i should have taken oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, oh, hey. can we phase through the truck push push that's not even immersion breaking because that's that's how accidents work. Remember, there's a diner while passing Roseburg. They have the best burgers. Uh, one of these, the restaurant. <laughs> I wasn't very proud of my driving. Saw the diner Kayla was talking about. Oh, slick, almost slick. All right, we got to make sure we park in. Yeah. Yeah, right about there. I mean, that should do the trick. They gotta know that I'm the main character. That's also how it works in real life. You didn't see it because it's first person, but I actually did a front flip over the car. <laughs> it's quite unreal. Welcome to the Tweed and River Diner. How are you doing today? Feel free to take any seat you like. I'll be right with you. I'd like to sit with this guy. Yeah. <laughs> he just stared at me. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll sit here. Good evening. I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? What can I get for you? What do you want, chat? Good cheese. Would you like anything to drink? Large cock, coffee, or strawberry slush? Anything else? No. I really had to pee, and then I held it in. I don't want to... You guys are going to see me pee. I really had to pee. Did you now? I still had to pee. No way. Look away. Swear to God. Classic fears to fathom. <laughs> I spilled. Whoa. Uh, that's a lot of distance. That's some built up pressure. He did have to pee. It was 
not lying. What did I order? Strawberry slush? Why is it green? Let me consume the good cheese next. Oh, Kayla, a responsible time to be texting. How was it? I'm here, still eating. This is so good. I'm on my way home. Send you in a bit? Eh? Oh, you should send me that casserole recipe. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, man. Chat. When me and Paige were entering the, the United States border, you know, it's it's scarier than entering Canada, that's for sure. We we get in line, right? It's us and, and the agent. And Paige hands her agent her passport. And I'm about to hand my agent my passport. Lo and behold, we have each other's passports. And so I just have to be like, Paige, Paige. Paige, give me my passport. And so she's like, ma'am, <laughs> ma'am, that's not me. <laughs> we traded passports. It was scary. I thought they were going to be like, hmm, suspicious. Yeah, exactly. 20 years in jail. Hey, man, I wish I could take his burger. Oh, no. Oh, thank God I could reach the door. I was mega stuck. Oh, I annihilated that car. That's another dub for the RV. 8.02 p.m. I was driving my shit. Honking my shit. I want to include the location of this park, but I don't want anyone seeking out the utter horrors I've seen in these woods. 10 gift subs and I'll go there. <laughs> I was kidding. Jeez. Iron Bark State Park. Is that actually real? Oh my gosh. Okay, it's so... It said NSW National Parks. I thought it said NSFW National Park. I was like, huh? Yeah, okay, it's real. Where is it? Uh, oh, it's in Aus- Wait, we kind of plan on going there. It's in Australia. Just north of Wollongong. Oh, why are we lagging? The spook is lagging my game. And then we spent 10 minutes troubleshooting. It turned out the problem was that V-Sync wasn't working and the game was running at too many frames to be captured. So I used an external program to cap my frames at 120 and everything was good. Connor made fun of me because in the um, in the cooking stream, I was like, yeah, Megan, I could teach you how to stream. And he was like, imagine Spiff teaching someone how to stream. But look, all right, I've run into enough problems. I'm actually okay at, you know, things. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. Hey. Holy moly, you scared me. I thought you were one of them. One of who? May Lord have mercy. Anyways, can I see your permit, please? <laughs> You're Billy, right? Yeah. Anyways, carry on, chat. I am the new transferred fire lookout. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Hang on. Let me check on that. Beep, boop, 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 beep. Where's your shotgun? Where did his shotgun go, chat? You staffed Fire Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season. But here are your keys. Man outside while you're talking to him. Oh. I am the transferred fire <laughs> Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the long hike. I can't drive there. Thank you, Billy. You be careful. Take this. Now, for our purposes, when you get to our tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system just so we know you've clocked in safely. I saw a video of this guy who got, like, followed by a, I don't know, might have been a bobcat for, like, 10 minutes on his hike. I think she was protecting her young, but, like, constantly going at her. Going at him, I should say. It was a long hike, and it was starting to get cold now. Ironbark, Tower 11. Am I Tower 11? Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. It would be kind of... It would be kind of sick. I, I think I... Uh, not that long. So obviously, I like people, but... You know, that is pleasant. Besides the Demogorgon in the woods, I guess. I ascended the stairs to the top of the tower. Is that the next tower over? The one that I can communicate with? Once you're on top of the tower, your job is to look for fires or anything out of the ordinary. Yippers. I was finally in my new home for the next couple months. Dude, that's all you That's such a small bag. Radio equipment was sitting on the wooden table. Forgot to turn the generator on at first. Wow, I can't believe that whole thing is in his story. Remarkable. Remarkable. 
this thing does not have Windows 10. Uh, poop. Hmm. Okay, I don't know. Oh, hey, wow, you look at that. Okay. Lights out after 12 p.m. Supply drops are handed out every Sunday. Absolutely no guests. System password is Ironbark11 then. Okay. No video games? Remember to call your sister. Oh, <laughs> station before you sleep. I see. Ackerman, we're in. Clickety click. Here's a random fact for you. Honey never spoils. Archaeologists have found pots of honey in ancient Egypt that are over 3,000 years old and still perfectly edible. Did they eat them? Dude, I'd love to eat some 3,000 year old honey. Anyway. Oh my god, really just right into the action. Oh, I can do this all day, chat. Headshot. Headshot. <laughs> Your head's so tiny. You have no brain. This game kind of slaps, not gonna lie. Yeah, I'm a Plague.exe main. What's up? Gonna spend more time on... See, this is what I would do if I was a fucking ranger, you know? You just... <laughs> Play games, don't worry about the fire. I know I always tend to go too long on these, but I want to make sure that there's nothing special. Cause like, what if there's like... Ah, these guys must have respawned, I don't know. Pepsi says only one achievement? Damn, all right, well. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the state of the art service reporting so... I'm Jack. I saw your light Jack down. off. You got a fire going? No. Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Got it. Merci beaucoup. I don't see the smoke. Did you light it up yet? Bro, look. Uh, Wood stove should be around the entrance. Dude, it's been two seconds. There's no firewood. No firewood? There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. The staffer. Marley? Just sitting. Oh, really? That's it? Okay. Uh, gas. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, that'll be okay, right? Good. Good to see that nothing's flammable in this wood tower. <laughs> Perfectly safe. Oh, whoops. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, dang. Ah, oh, whoopsies. Made a little oopsies. Okay, that should do it. No? Okay, well, it must be non functional gasoline. Except when in there. <laughs> ah, I see it. I see the smoke. Whoa, really? Dude's like watching me with binoculars. You are required. Off. Yeah, that's literally my job. Relax, bro. I'll get to it in a sec. Which one's Fahrenheit? Probably the bigger number. Oh, <laughs> that did not help. Oh, it says 44.3F. Got it. Wind speed. We need that guy. 17. Uh, weather condition clear, I believe. Spluff. Tower 11, copy! I think I'm gonna sign off for the day. Have a good day, Tower Skinwalker. Signing off. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Good night, Connor. Talk to you tomorrow. Yeah, or the bed monsters. Or the copious amount of gasoline that I'm spreading in my tower. <laughs> Just gotta make sure it gets everywhere. Wouldn't wanna miss a spot with my gasoline. This is how I'll fend off the monsters of the night. POV, you saw a spider in your house? True, we're in Australia. There ought to be some big ones. Oh, oh, just a real dark splotch there. Damn. Unintelligible. 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 It was late at night. How late? Not that late, because my fire hadn't gone out. The gasoline had dried up. On my first night being out of my cabin, being there alone was something was quite unsettling. Well, let's talk first. 
Connor? Dude, Connor's fucking dead, Chad. I brought the wind thing to defend against potential threats. It wasn't working. I couldn't go down the stairs. I guess I need my flashlight? Wait. Oh! Yeah, yeah, this is what I would do too. Woohoo! That's cool, I like this. There are no walls. 360 degree vision chat. Morning, Connor. It's just you and the wind and the time just melts away. A morning like this just makes me wanna throw my coffee cup off the edge. I Excuse threw me. it off the I'm tower. No Copy that, Connor. What's up? Bitch. What? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. You have eyes on the smoke north of your position. Let me have a look. Dude, why is my FOV? My FOV <laughs> it just got big. Do you see that smoke up north? Yes. It appears to be in the lazy trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. The fire risks are high this season. SMH did. Am I checking it out? Because of the funky FOV, I can't see my compass! Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, it fixed when I threw something. Okay, fantastic. Oh, it's bare country chat. There's a bird. Followed that trail that led me to the smoke. I went to go bear sp Aw, oh, nah, bruh. Went to go bear spray the illegal campers. I love Jen. She gives the best head. <laughs> Jen? Somebody's whistling. Don't test me. I have access to my bear spray now. Forest, I hear the whistling man. Just gotta disinfect the area. I had to put it out. <laughs> this work? Okay, mission accomplished. Head home. Don't worry about the whistling man. Nah, bro. As I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. Was it the screen? My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. Wait, where's my tower? What? What? Oh, it's up here, okay. I came back. Connor had taken out my tower. <laughs> Just gotta disinfect the room. Oh yeah, I had to report to Connor. I heard somebody scream. Mention the scream, yeah. The scream. Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. Oh, good! It was a manly scream. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Kids went missing in that area? About a month ago. They were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. Uh, what happened to the kids? We don't know. <clears throat> Dude, Siren Head. People have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. Siren Head! <laughs> it's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. That's true. I mean, I just said that 10 gift subs, I'll come to this park. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Dude, Connor's gonna shoot them. <laughs> Will do. Over and out. Weather condition, cloud, I guess. Number of hikers assisted. One, I mean, kind of, <laughs> I put out a fire. Goon Squad XD. <laughs> yeah, there I am, Connor Hawkins and Goon Squad XD. Do you think Plague.exe got an update? That yeah, doesn't look like it. Dude, I recognize that. I'm so jelly of that view. By the way, look what I got home to. Uh, I should try that recipe now. Dude, I don't know if we have the resources for it, bruv. But I gotta go get some wood for the campfire. I think it was about here that I was pissing. Like, I'd just be walking in yesterday's piss. Fuck. <laughs> the whistling man. Maybe I should piss off the tower. It'll dissuade anyone from coming up. Flash drive media?
Oh, dude, get it! Holy shit! Oh, yes, yes, a little low. <laughs> Reverse petting? Like, I'm assuming this is made by the by the dev of the game. Just, just for fun. That's insane. Ron Ross. Hi, everyone. I'm Ron Ross, and I'm here to paint with you. Today, I got <laughs> He looks like a zombie. Paint. This is something called testicular green. <laughs> it reminds me of my wife. I love my wife. <laughs> Anyways, a little water there. <laughs> what? To, to switch brushes. Bro, Oops. maybe his no, that's testicular brush. Green. That's my needle. I'll save that for later. Ah, that's the wrong brush. That's my needle. Who? I'll save that for later. Who ah, needle? There it is. The basting brush. This brush is really great for painting in those details. I think I'll put a little tree here. I see. This is where I buried the bodies. You know what would look good here? A nice, happy cabin right there. Reminds me of when I had an affair with my wife. Uh, with a squirrel. Enough about me. Let's read some fan mail. Sent in by you guys. Eviction notice. Uh, forget the fan mail. We'll be right back after this commercial break. It's fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> now the plant interview. And we are back. So how do you feel about being a plant? Do you moisturize? Better. Plants need to moisturize. What do you do for a living? Stream. Uh-huh. How's the marriage with the wife? Oh, it's not going good. He cheated on me Sir. with Aiden. Not uh, Aiden Sir, Ross. No Fucking for that Ron language. Ross. Sir, calm down. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> Nobody talks to me like that on my show. <laughs> what the f did you just say? <sighs> Get over here, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> it was that Drake? <laughs> oh shit, these are good, man. Whoever was here last it was pretty funny. Welcome to Ironbark State Park. If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say. Congratulations! Bro, Jacksepticeye? <laughs> you have been commissioned by the Ironbark Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious He's parks back. in the state of Washington. Established in 1897, that looks just like it's been known as one of the safest parks in America. We hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. You have been selected as one of our Fire Lookout Observers. Mm -hmm. This is a truly rewarding job which mm -hmm. requires many hours of hard work. Yeah, you gotta pee off the edge. You will be working in our state-of-the-art lookout towers. And the following is a list of responsibilities you will have. Dude, mine's not that tall. Keep watch for fire. Fire isn't going to be noticeable all of the time. Watch. So also keep watch for smoke. <laughs> Make sure to know what color the smoke is. It Stare may be crucial Stare at your neighboring towers. Fires are best stopped before they spread out of hand. When the temperature rises, it is best that we have those recorded. The science nerds at the Panoramic Preservation Society require us to note all changes in temperature. Use the anemometer to scientifically the gather the data. We hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. <laughs> Try not to damage any of the equipment. And remember, if you see smoke, don't joke. Call the authorities and notify them of the predicament immediately. That's a good one. Pee pee poo poo Joe. What I've learned about these videos so far is that humans are green. I was too hungry to go to bed without food. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to make that lasagna recipe. Do I have food? Like I got some cans of like, oh, oh, here's my lasagna tray. At this point I was starving. Oh, I have it in my texts. Okay. Uncooked pasta, marinara sauce. Is this uncooked pasta? I assume so. Where's the sauce? This is wine. Where's the sauce? Fucking good. Oh, here's a fridge. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, that's Coke. Oh, there we go. <laughs> what the fuck is this? 
Not cheese. What about this? Oh, uh, 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 let's hope it wasn't cheese. Let's go. Oh! Sorry. Let's go. I liked eating in bed. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, I should probably, I should probably talk. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta eat a bit. <laughs> Dude, are we gonna eat this whole ass pan? <laughs> I mean, hey, you're probably burning a lot of calories with various tasks. <laughs> Why not? I was already full. Oh, okay. Well, that's understandable. <laughs> Connor, I'm, I'm Connor. 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 I'm here, Connor. What is it, Connor? Mm, good job, Connor. I'll take track them down and give them a piece of their mind. I'm gonna go finish the there. second half of my entire path. Um, fucking <laughs> pan of lasagna. Over and out. Well, the gasoline is floating. Ugh. Just in case, it'll be a fire trap for anybody who tries to come in. I always close the boards outside. Really? I opened every single one. Are you shitting me, bro? I'm a fire watch. I'm supposed to be able to see. Not when you're sleeping. Yeah, but you wake up, blink, blink, you know, look outside. That, honestly, that's what I would do. I know we're thinking about like jupacabras in the forest, but in all seriousness, that's probably what I would do. I would rather see something out my window than there be something there and me not know that it's there. 2.27 AM. Oh, shit's going down now. That's what I'm saying, chat! My fucking whistling man's out there, dude. You... I... I... I don't know if I want to go out there, actually. Where's my matches? Shit! My... my... my fucking... This is gonna be better. <laughs> what? Ah! Oh! <laughs> Jesus! Oh my god, it's a fucking cultist! What the fuck, man? Bro just ate that bear spray. How do I hide? Oh. Oh. We're back to this chat. What if I can? Is this guy gonna come in? I that this is not what I wanted to do, video game. Okay. Okay. Hey there. We're a little present from the whistling man chat. That's nice. God, air, the locals are scaring me. There's something outside my door. Wait until morning. Mention the skull. Not gonna lie, Connor. Um, you know, in a parallel universe, that guy came in with a sickle and killed me through bear spray. What if it's not a prank? Kids can be pretty creative with these pranks. You watch too many horror movies. This feels like a real ritual, Connor. Let's not get carried away, new guy. We're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, that's the perfect place to carry off demonic rituals. Right. Here's what we'll do. I'll send someone to check in on you tomorrow. For now, just lock your door. Take a deep breath. Hey, Loaf. I don't know if you want to be here. It's spooky, Loaf. Okay, sorry. We got to pick between Loaf Cam and Me Cam, and we're going Me Cam for this game. I occupied most of my da days either with a simple maintenance in around the tower or by scanning the densities of trees all around me. Oh, my paranoia in these woods only grew after last night, which led me to be extra vigilant moving forward. Extra vigilant. I'm assuming I was supposed to find something. Oh, I can clean. <laughs> Oh! It's so like, Chad, sure I know they're dirty, but like, chill. What do you think that is? <laughs> Good thing my binoculars were clean, or else I wouldn't have been able to see them. Emergency flare. We're gonna need the bare essentials. Hello? Yes. Is anyone there? I, I need help. Please, someone answer. Yeah, I don't know if I can trust you. Or gasoline on you just to be careful. This is Jack off Tower 11. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost and I'm I'm really starting to freak out. What's going I, on? I don't even know where to start. 
I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. I swear to God, if you started to fire, your ass is whooped. And, and now it's dark, and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think... I think I'm lost. What is your current location? <laughs> he doesn't uh, know. I'm in the middle of the woods, <laughs> on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. Can you describe your surroundings? <laughs> I'm surrounded by trees, and I remember passing a small stream earlier. What direction are you facing? I'm walking towards west right now, because I remember walking east when I came here. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Oh, fuck. This is actually that calling game again. Chat, we're gonna get him killed. Uh, let me scan the map and get back to you. I mean... <laughs> uh... Hi. 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 I can't... What? Uh, I can't... Hi! I get- uh, are, are you still there? Oh, okay. Both of these trails seem pretty similar. Uh, I'm just so anxious about making a mistake and going further away from the road. Please help. Okay, map. He was- which way, chat? Which way was he? Um... Yeah, adventures go left, bro. I'm at a trail intersection. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! I thought it looked familiar. <laughs> I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. <laughs> no problem, bro. Making decisions in the dark can be challenging. I'm right here! I hear you! I hear your whistles. That's not me! What? what? I see you behind the tree. That's not me! You're freaking me out. Fuck it, fuck it! No! <laughs> What the fuck? Was it my fault Shetty would have died either way? Ah, I bet you that's Connor. Hold on. This is one of those moments. Yep. Holy moly, what took you so long in there? Oh, you know, <laughs> I was just helping out a camper. Anyways, got your tower supplies here. Just the usual essentials. Thanks, bro. Da -da -da -da. What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north. Why were you there? I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I was required to investigate a campfire smoke. Oh, Lord have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and birds. You be careful out there, pal. These woods ain't normal, and there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Dot 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 dot. Everything all right? Mention the skull. Oh Lord, have mercy! Did you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? No. Dot dot dot. You know, it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. Thanks for the sops, bro. Hell yeah, bro. So that, that camper's all right, right? He found local authorities. Food is cold? Bro, that's delicious. Cold lasagna's the shit. <laughs> it says 420. <laughs> Dude, Rail loves lasagnas, right, Loaf? Yes. Look at her just hanging out. She was alone, well, not really alone. She had people come into the house fairly often, but she was without us for five days. And then to make sure I inconvenienced, inconvenienced myself to the maximum, I threw the pan off the fucking the ship. Number of hikers assisted. Ooh, uh, <laughs> great work. <laughs> Number of hikers killed today. He's not necessarily dead. Gotta make sure I do my nightly fire trap. Yep, not gonna need that anymore. Oh, the wood stove. Ah, dicks. Oh, did I get gasoline in it? Oh, I didn't. Oh, I'm gonna have to go get the fa- Ah, uh, oh my god. Okay, we'll leave the bear spray then. Okay, where did I put the gasoline? Where did I throw it from? Oh god. Oh, there's another one. Oh my gosh, you knew. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, little pal. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh shit. Oh, she cut my- <laughs> Dude, uh, <laughs> I'm 
sorry, Loaf. <laughs> you did just give me a heart attack. You gave my cat a heart attack. No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance. Yeah, she's fine. She's sitting right beside me. I'm in more pain than she is, that's for sure. Why are we- why are we- Absolutely, but some fires are meant to burn and no amount of prevention can stop them. What do you mean? Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled no matter how hard we try. True? And sometimes disasters are just another form of cleansing. A way to the land to purify itself. See you around. Have a good night, Jack. Off. Hope you sleep well. But remember. Curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Yeah, that dude did give a creepiest. Good thing I doused him so I'd be able to smell him from a distance if he came back. Now this ought to give the fire some oomph. Needed gasoline? My guy. <laughs> Is that enough? You happy? <laughs> the entire place just fucking explodes. Ran into Silas downstairs. Oh, who's Silas? Ran into who? Yep. The guy maintaining that nearby radio tower. <sighs> just about yesterday. What do you mean? You trying to yank my chain now? What do you mean? That radio tower's been out of service for ages now. I think, I mean, I think Silas made it fairly clear that he was a fake. It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems, and its repair cost was deemed too costly. Then who did I just talk Look, to? If what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. He knew my name. He knew your name. You think he's been listening? Well, he was at my door with a uh, sickle the other day. Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Yeah, no kidding. Next time you see him, get his information, or take a photo. We need to figure this out. Sure. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. Good night, Connor. 12, signing off. Good night. Love you. Have a good sleep. Light off. Sip. My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself it was just a change of environment I needed getting used to. The strangeness I'd seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Two nights later, 9.18 p.m. 5487. Ooh, nice. Oh, my power. Let me go get the gas. Yeah, true, I kept my door closed and ran out of power. It's just like another game. I forgot what it's called. Oh no! Just pee off the balcony, bro! Hold on, I'll make my 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 anti-shark circle, you know? Whatever it's called from SpongeBob. Sea bear, yeah. Dude, my spiss is gonna make such a loud noise. Why can I see through the door? I said Squidwards. It's just a cheesy clip mashup, but I thought it was cool. We lived. Wow, really? One week later, that's it? What a bait. Someone's gonna be up there? Yeah, they were there for a week. No, hiding in the ceiling. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which means I had to cover for his area for the past two days. What was he doing? When there were no fires going, the only thing I'd do is check in on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked, unless I was talking to myself. We got another one. Just... This is gonna be the fire from the trailer. Right here, Connor. Oh, yeah, tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. <laughs> Connor, if it's in your sector, bruh. I've been here busting my ass. Oh, well, fair enough. Well, 
Let me grab my binoculars for this one. The only made thing that made sense at the time was to take evidence of it. Uh, okay. Camera. Is that the hiker? Oh, shit. Well, at least they just seem to be doing their own thing. They're gonna see the flash. They're gonna, like, get up and look at me. Ah! <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> oh lord, they coming. Oh lord. Get the goddamn. Yeah, I'm just gonna hide. <laughs> oh no. Hold well on, Loaf. I had to make a run. Is that my breathing? I'm taking my fucking wind machine! Get jiggle peaked, idiot. It's time to go. Huh? Huh? Oh, sprinting. Right, forgot about sprinting. Oh, that's not good. We forgot about sprinting, chat. Huh? Ah! 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 Oh? Look, the wind thing is still going. Um, it would appear I went the wrong way. All right, we got this this time. Step one, throw the binoculars at him. Then, gas, 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 gas. Good, got him. I have to pee when I'm nervous, chat. <laughs> I nearly spissed myself. Dude, where's... Where's my RV? Trap! Trap! Oh, I don't care about the door! Trap! <laughs> As adrenaline kicked in, I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed in to alert the HQ. Look, Jack, we all get a little stir crazy out here. Mitch answered. Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area, but of course, they met no with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set my foot in those woods. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character. <laughs> but I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please, be safe. So 
Survivor survived through the fourth episode. We did it, Loaf. You and me, Loaf. This is not me driving. <laughs> I kind of want to know about this story. Like, what about the photo? I didn't find out more about the story. If you do know specifically about the photo, please comment the story for me and all those curious. Anyway, then we spent like half an hour trying to break out of bounds. Us versus the semi-truck round two? Yeah, damn right. Oh, you wanna, you wanna go? <laughs> you wanna duel? That's a win for me. The scariest moment was the, the loaf jump scare. And you know, I don't think I've ever been hurt, physically injured by a jump scare before. <laughs> How's that burger? This little piece of heaven. This place is pretty much my weakened spot. Ah, whoops. You must have heard the news then. What news? Well, a few weeks ago, those kids went missing in the park. It's been all over the news. What happened to them? No one knows. The official report says they got lost, but a lot of people around here think that something else happened. Something else? There's a rumor going around that a creature got them. A, a creature? Yeah, you know, like Bigfoot or a goat man. People saying there's something like that living in the forest. A lot of hikers and campers go missing in their forest. So we don't come back with stories you don't believe. Some of them never come back. That's a cool word, Eric the Reddest. Filating? Felleting my sandwich? What does that mean? Oh shit, what does it mean? <laughs> we'll tell you when you're older. Thanks, Chad. Okay, I'm going to attempt to parallel park. <laughs> because I think that's our best bet. No! So this wall applies to the vehicle as well. But if I get the door on this wall, maybe I can. Okay, we're not done with this. <laughs> ah. What if I made the door, like, force me out? Damn you and your well-polished game. Oh, let's try the church. Well, we got the door into the church. <laughs> oh, there's definitely not anything inside, but we'd be out of bounds. Come on, door. Well, I've succeeded in getting stuck. All right, this will be the last try. Come on, I know you want to. Oops. Oh, shoot! Come on. So that's what the inside of the church looks like. There's like some sort of safeguards or something. Holy shit. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> Interesting. So we've achieved ascension. I'm fairly satisfied with this outcome, I think. That's my contribution to the, uh, to the speedrun community. <laughs> you can go up on doors.